Hi Simon, Phil Beaver here from the Wilderness Club. Just a quick recap on our lesson last night on your swing. So I know you want to hit a little fade, okay? So if we just run through your swing and see things that we can work on. So takeaway is pretty good. Not too bad, it goes a little bit inside but nothing to worry about. Top of the swing is quite solid, maybe a fraction long. When you grip down the club, Simon, like an inch, because uh, the pad of your glove was on top of the grip, that would just shorten your swing, okay? So if we look here on the right of Jordan Spieth, okay, we'll see that his takeaway is a little bit better. We can see his hand, the club head is staying outside of his hands, and then he just hinges and it goes through his right forearm. So that's sort of textbook, but we can leave yours alone at the moment. Get to the top of his swing, you can see it's a tiny bit shorter, okay? It's pretty much the same sort of line, so left arm's good, uh, right elbow solid, same as yours, quite nice. We look at yours on the way down, Simon, as we start to come down. For me, the shaft is not too bad. The shaft's coming down on sort of a fade line. I mean, I would love to see the shaft maybe a fraction shallower, so maybe sort of there, sorry, a bit more that way. We look at Jordan's coming down. Now, he hits a fade, so this is why I've used him for you. We can see he's a lot more active with the lower half, okay? That's really starting to work quite hard, and you can see that shaft is a little bit shallower like I've said there, and that's purely because he's actually rotating his lower half and his chest, okay? Um, and we can see with you, your bottom half and chest isn't really turning, which is why the shaft is fractionally steep. If we carry on with you, we see now that you're starting to what we call release the lag, and we can also see your club head is the wrong side of the golf ball. We can see it's on the right-hand side, so you're attacking the ball now this angle left, and you're obviously putting your left-to-right spin on it. So if we get rid of all them lines, you can see there that your club is definitely to the right of the ball. If we look at Jordan's coming down into impact, we can see it's always left of the ball. Okay, So that's the one thing I wanted to change really, was try and get you a little bit shallower into the back of the ball. And because your club head is obviously working left, keep an eye now on your hand, Simon. You're going to see how your hands are going to disappear left very, very quickly. So let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight frames and your hands have gone. We look at Jordan's. One, so one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So we can see what I'm trying to show you is that Jordan's club head is traveling on a straighter line for impact where yours is every, everything is left and across. Okay, and you're sort of trying to hold the face up it's open, which we can see here, it's quite open. Um, to try and hit that fade where we can see Jordan's is slightly different angle to yours, okay? So how do we fix that, Simon? Right, so the first thing is we needed to get your body a bit more active to get the club uh, on that nice shallow line sort of down there. So first thing we did was we put another ball sort of up here, and I asked you to hit that one, so set up to this one here, okay? And then hit the one much further in front. That gets your chest more active. Now when you hit do that drill, you should hit them dead straight or left, and you should strike it pretty good, but it'll just get your lower half and chest a bit more on top of the ball. The next drill we put was a couple of golf balls, especially with the wedges. Your wedges were, weren't the best. Two golf balls either side there as doctor balls, and once again, that just gets you the feeling of attacking the ball a little bit more from the inside. And we can see here you want to clip this ball here on the on the right. Okay, and that was definitely for the wedges. <clears throat> You've got your chest drill, and then we last thing was we put a stick in the ground, say there, and I wanted you to try and just start the ball right a bit and draw it. And what that was trying to do, everything was trying to get your hands to go a bit more to the right through the path and actually start to release the club again. I mean, your club face is so open. Uh, that's why you tend to hit some weak cuts. And your best shots was a pull, uh, which we saw when you got your driver out. You was hitting a few over here, uh, but you was actually aiming sort of in this direction. But your best shots were a pull. And that's because the face was actually wrapping over or, or releasing. So... Work on um, the chest drill, work on these balls for me, okay, that would fix the wedges, definitely, and then go back to hitting some full shots with the stick and just trying to draw the ball around the stick again until uh, the shot doesn't need to do that anymore. Otherwise, pretty good, Simon, but just work on them things and you should see a massive difference and look forward to